Alrighty, morning everyone! In this beautiful video, we are gonna scrap this little donut of copper wire. Isn't that nice? Yeah, look at it! Such nice stuff! Um, and yeah, I just I just got that from a family member, actually. And so, I'm really happy about that. Thank you very much. You know what, who you are. You're not watching this channel, but, you know, thank you anyways. And so, yeah, very, very heavy gauge stuff, as you can see, like... This, this stuff is like really nice um, copper wire. Uh, it's not tin coated, so this is gonna probably go as berry, maybe millberry. Um, it depends on how the copper looks inside of this stuff, because this was buried for quite some time. And you know, buried stuff tends to not always look so great when you unbury it. But uh, yeah, we are gonna see how that unburied stuff looks today. And I, I've built a little wire stripper, because I don't have a wire stripper here at all at this place. I, um, I do have a wire stripper at the other place. Uh, you you know the other place with with, with the like uh, wooden wooden um, a tabletop and uh, yeah but I don't have that here so I built one and I think it looks cool uh, it also looks a little bit weird but I'm gonna show you that later so we're gonna strip all that we're gonna weigh it up we're gonna see how much money you can make doing this which is probably gonna be a very decent amount uh, because this is very heavy gauge stuff and uh, with a wire stripper uh, that should hopefully go pretty well if I built this wire stripper correctly which I hope I did because I did that before and it worked so why shouldn't it work again right so yeah we'll do that today today is um actually uh, I think like the evening between New Year and the day before that, I don't even know how you call that day, but uh, yeah, it's that day, and um, you might hear some like uh, firecrackers and stuff like that in the background, uh, so yeah, don't don't mind that too much, I guess. So um, yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna show you my wire stripper setup, and then we are gonna go straight into time lapse as always. So here we go. So what you can see right there is my big red vise holding a very small blue vise and this blue vise is holding a little piece of wood that has some screws in it and it's got some holes in it and uh, I'm gonna take that out really quickly and I'm gonna show you. So you see it's just a piece of wood that has a few different sized holes and then it's got screws on top and uh, the wire goes into these holes, you screw down the screw and um, then you just pull the wire through and it should leave like a groove in, in, the, in, uh, in the PVC insulation of the wire and you should just be able to um, peel it off, basically, off the copper. That's the plan, we'll see if that works, I hope it does, if it doesn't, well... Um, yeah, I guess that's not gonna be very nice, but you're also go not ever gonna see that, so if you're seeing this, that means that it worked. So isn't that nice? Yeah, we can all be happy about that now. So let's get on with stripping that wire, and let's go straight into time-lapse. Alrighty, well, I would say that worked pretty well. As you can see in the time lapse, it, it took me barely any time at all to strip this whole little donut of, of copper wire. And that was just a piece of wood with a screw inside of it. Like, that's absolutely awesome. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm very happy that it worked this well. And we got a really good chunk of copper here. And it took us, hold on to your seats, 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So five minutes for this whole heap of copper. 
Like this is, that's absolutely incredible. Uh, we are going to weigh it up in a second and see how much we actually could make in an hour doing this and how much we just made in five minutes. And um, like, I mean, that that is really good. It's really good. And I had to figure out some stuff because I, I'm not used to doing it with a piece of wood with a screw inside of it. Uh, so I had to figure out some stuff and I probably could have cut it down to like three minutes even. So like that is legit good. So let's quickly talk about what I did. Um, I just fed in the wire through this hole and then I tightened down the screw um, with like my little tiny screwdriver here. It's not a powerful one at all. It's just for driving in uh, small little screws and it's very handy because it has like a magazine where you can choose your, your little bits and it's got a lot of them in there. So it's very handy for scrapping um, when you don't have a lot of tools uh, available to you. So, uh, anyways, I tightened that down, and then I just pulled the wire through, and not with my hands, because that would be way too hard to do with that thick wire. Um, I just used these little, like, pliery, tongy thingies, and they work pretty well. Uh, can't complain about that. And, yeah, we were just able to pull it through, and um, then I had some difficulty finding, like, the beginning of this insulation. But after I, I, I found it, you could really just, like, peel it off. You, you saw it in the, in the time lapse. And I just peeled it off uh, entirely. Um, the reason why it looks like normal rope and not like copper wire is because it's corroded as heck. Why did that happen? Well, I already told you, um, this stuff was buried. And you can see when you look uh, inside the insulation here, uh, water got in there. Like, probably on a regular basis. And then in connection with some like ch chemicals, it, it really just like corroded the stuff um, pretty well. Uh, copper is a semi-precious metal, so it didn't get... Uh, heavily corroded really but it, it's still it's still black now so uh, this would only go as burnt copper you cannot sell that as anything else but burnt copper however I'm still not planning to do that I'm gonna melt it down into some pretty bars like these ones why am I gonna do that because this is still 99.9% .9 pure copper it's a bit corroded yes but it's still 99.9% .9 pure so it would be kind of stupid to sell it as burnt copper um, because burnt copper in case you didn't know that has to be at least 95% pure that is way more way way more so I'm really just gonna melt this down uh, probably probably get one bar out of this whole chunk um we'll see about that right now because we'll wait up now and uh yeah so that's what i would do let's just take check the burnt copper we've got this little connector um i'm gonna sell that as burnt copper because i don't melt connectors there's some stuff in there that you really don't want to breathe in uh, when you melt them down not in all of them but in some of them and i don't want to take the risk so we'll see how much this one weighs so that's 15 grams pretty good and now we'll see uh, what the big thingy weighs we'll have to put this um this lid on there let's see and so this weighs 559 grams so over half a kilo way over a pound probably like 1.3 pounds 1.2 pounds something like that 1.2 1.1.5 1 i think something like that um yeah pretty good so we'll we'll quickly check that yeah that's what that is in ounces um so yeah pretty much very very solid um thing and so we can be pretty dang happy with that i would say so in total we've got 574 grams so i would just say that we can get a kilo or like uh, like 2.2 2.3 pounds in um 10 minutes and then we would have approximately uh, like with my price about six um, bucks in 10 minutes and that would give us in an hour about 36 bucks that is in and of itself really good like 36 bucks in an hour um, i'm sure that everyone would really like to get that amount like you know if you're working 10 hours a day that would be 360 uh, bucks a day and uh, you know for a month that would be even more so i'm not doing the math but you can if you want it's gonna be something around like 10 grand so uh, <laughs> that's solid i would say um, you're obviously not gonna get um, like this stuff in 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 such a great quantity uh, like for free you know which is basically like the um, best case scenario that we figured out right now so you know you have to subtract the cost that you have to pay for the wire usually because i got that for free i i don't but um you would probably have to and otherwise yeah it would be pretty hard to get all that for free um would be cool though if you can do that basically yeah do it but um 
I think most people wouldn't, so you have to factor that in. But I would still say, um, you know, if you get this for free, if you can get it done in this amount of time, um, you could make some really, really decent money, like some really good money. And um, yeah, I, I think everyone can be very happy about that. Uh, I'm definitely very happy about that, so thank you very much. And uh, to the family member that sent that to me, uh, I'm very happy about that, so that's a really cool thing. I've got some more cool pieces of wire that we are going to strip down um, on this channel and see if they are worth it to strip them or if they are just worth it to sell them. So, um, yeah, as always, if you've got any questions or if you just want to say hi, please write it in the comments below. I'd be very happy to read it and also answer it. As always, um, I'm wishing you all a happy new year. And obviously, don't forget to like rate the video with either like a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you might want to do. Um, and yeah, also subscribe to the channel because, uh, yeah, we are like, at, I think, what, like 300 and like, like way over 300 now. Which is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you very much to every one of you that subscribed. So yeah, subscribe that we can so that we can get uh, like more subscribers because that's cool. Yeah, I like that. I hope you like that too. I hope you like this video. Thank you very very much for watching. Happy New Year again and until next time.